Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Seacraft Omega Home Theater seating. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents, just kind of based off my experience, and let you know what I thought about it. Um, should mention real quick also, I found a pretty good deal on this sofa set. I'll put a link in the description below to that, so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So if you're not familiar with Seacraft, uh, they make really, really good quality home theater seating. Um, some of the most comfortable and well-made stuff in the industry. And for the money, it's an unbelievable steal. Really, this stuff, to me at least, should cost a lot more than it does. Now, I should mention I'm not affiliated with Seacraft or anything. They're not paying me. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just purely my opinion. Uh, so I thought I'd clarify that real quick. So why do I like this thing so much? Well, for one, you can seat two or three people. You can seat two uh, and the seats fully recline. You got armrests on both sides. You can kind of flip down the middle seat and there's power ports there. There's a table that you can put your food and snacks on. There's also little cup holder tables that kind of like, um, they kind of act as like trays you would have on like an airplane seat that you can put in and swivel around. Uh, that you could use also but the seats themselves are super comfortable and the foam they use on the bottom is very durable you don't get like sag over the years or anything like that uh, it doesn't crush down just really comfortable and really well made now they're not true leather they're not hundred percent real leather seats um, that's pretty obvious from the price that you're not going to get actual leather these things would cost way 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 more money uh if if they actually did but it actually uses a really good fake leather it's not kind of that cheap plethora stuff it's very thick it feels just like real top grain leather uh, which is nice it does have a power headrest too and a power recliner so everything's powered on that so when you're when you're reclining moving the thing up it's all powered you don't have to use your own uh, weight to move anything like I said, it has power plugs built into it and it also has USB charging. So if you use a tablet like an iPad or something to control your home theater or even a smart remote like a Logitech or any kind of remote system to control your entire home theater, um, it can be charged directly through the seat, which is awesome. Or just leave it plugged in all the time. You never have to worry about it. It does also have nice lighting on it. Um, they're subtle, but yet kind of nice and convenient too so if it's a dark room you don't have to worry about it the buttons themselves are touch they're not actual physical buttons you just hold your finger on it and it works and the motors that recline the actual uh, chair are very powerful they don't feel like they bog down at all they don't um, move really slow or anything like that and there is a nice button on there that you can push that recline that returns the chair to the default position automatically but yeah, super well made, very, very good quality, super comfortable, and for the money, in my opinion, it's really a no-brainer if you're looking for really good home theater seats at a really good price. Anyway, super happy with it, uh, as you can tell. Anyway, if you have any more questions on it, just leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you if I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.